Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be installing the Synology Disk Station Manager 7.2 on my Synology DS918 Plus NAS. Now, if you're interested in my other Synology videos, I'll put a link below to my Synology playlist. So this isn't going to be a full tutorial. I'm mostly just going to document what I'm doing. So this video may not be for everyone, and it's definitely not a comprehensive video. Now, from what I understand, there's some hardware where you can automatically upgrade to 7.2 from within the interface. But on the 918 and many other models, probably specifically older models, you actually have to download the software to install it. So updating the Disk Station Manager could break things. It's something you want to research before you do it. Once you upgrade to 7.2, you can't roll back. And if there is a procedure to roll back, I'm guessing it wouldn't be easy. But it's not a typical thing that you would roll back. So you'd want to be very careful before doing this on any critical hardware. So this page I have up here is on the Synology website. It talks about some of the features in 7.2. It has this write once, store forever mode. So this update seems to focus a lot on security. We have immutable snapshots. So you can take snapshots of your data and it gets locked down. So if malware comes along or ransomware, you can roll back to that. And the ransomware cannot modify your data. It also has full volume encryption, different efficiency things. So you can do a search online and find this information and see if this is something you even want to consider. So let's head over to the Disk Station Manager. Oh, another thing on that page, I have Docker here as one of my apps. That is going to be renamed to Container Station, I think it is. So after you install this update, if you're missing your Docker, it's probably because the name changed. So I do have some Dockers running on here. I don't know if I have any virtual machines running right now, but those things could get shut down while you're updating, obviously. But to update, I want to go to Control Panel. Now I have that on my little desktop here. If you don't, you can click up in the upper left, click on that and you can find the control panel there also. So from here I can go to update and restore. And here we have DSM update. So if you have an option to update to 7.2 here, you can just do it from here. Now you may have updates here that aren't 7.2. So if you're not on the latest version of 7.1, I would recommend running those updates before you go to 7.2. I don't know what Synology recommends, but that is how I typically would update, is I like to do it sequentially. So I am on the latest version that was automatically updated. So next I'm going to go and search for the DSM 7.2 download, and that will just take me to the download center. You can go directly to the download center. And here I'm going to choose my product type, which is a NAS, and then I'll type in, it's a DS918, I'm going to type that right, I'll click on that, and here we have search results. So the first one that comes up here is operating system. If for some reason you're on one of these other tabs, you want to click back on operating system, and here we have the update. Now this has been updated since it came out, so it, we're actually on 7.2.1, so I'll hit download here. And that's going to take a couple seconds to download. Okay, so that's finished. I'll go back into the Disk Station Manager and I'll click on Manual DSM Update. Under File Path, I'll hit Browse and I'll go to my Downloads. I'll choose the PAT file, I'll hit Upload. And here you see that note, it says DSM cannot be rolled back to an older version. So I'll hit OK here. It's gonna upload that. So here we have Update Notices. So you'll want to read through all of this stuff. There can be very important things here. So if you scroll down here, this talks about Quick Connect. So you could update this and lose access. So if you're doing this remotely, that could mess things up for you. This talks about packages that will be updated. So I'll say, I understand. But if there's anything you don't understand, make sure you do your research before you update so you don't break anything. I'll hit update here. It says it will take between 10 and 20 minutes. So I'll hit yes, and I'll probably speed up the video and then we'll come back and look at it when it's done. Okay, it looks like the update is finished. So I had kind of like two stages there. It did the main update and then it updated the packages and services. So let's log in and make sure it still works. Looks like we have more updates. Okay, that was quick. Now it's asking me to install Synology Office. I'm going to say no thanks for now. It's asking me if I want to send device analytics. I'll say no thanks. Enable two-factor. Now it is a good idea to enable that, but I'm not going to do that right now. And it looks like we're started up. So right now I do have some little notes here. I'll click on my virtual machine manager. It says repair required, so I'll just do that. Okay, it looks like that's running now. Let's click on this installed software and see what else it has. Okay, so this just says this older software is no longer supported, so I can click on this and click uninstall. So 
So if I scroll down here, you can see I have newer versions of Node.js and PHP. So that looks good there. Now I'm not seeing the container manager. Let's go here. Here we have container manager. I'll add that to my desktop. Open it up and it looks like my containers are up. So depending on what software you have installed, you may need to go and tweak and fix things, but it looks like the upgrade went pretty smooth. Now, if I find any problems with this, I'll drop a comment below. And if you have done this upgrade and have had issues, maybe drop a comment below so other people can read them. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.